Bubba has talked to each of the coaches. Bubba came in um, even last fall, I think, and talked to our team uh, and, and told them uh, there, there's so many questions about what does it really mean? There's a name, but there, there's no guidelines. It's just thrown out there. So, so I've, I had prospects, dads call me and said, what does this mean for my son? I said, I have no idea. And that's what I hate about it. I, I hate that it's a, it's a runaway train right now um, with, with no guidelines. If we're going to throw something out there, let's, let's figure out what it is before we throw it out there because it's unfair to coaches and athletic directors and presidents and chancellors and, and really kids and recruits. Even high school coaches are calling, what does this mean for my kid? I, said, I don't know. I really don't know. So uh, we've, uh, we've got uh, people in our uh, recruiting office that are looking at branding and trying to stay ahead of the game. What does that mean? How can we do a better job? Regardless of what this rule says, we want to brand our entire team better. Coaches are concerned that if name, image, and likeness uh, only affects three kids on your team, is that really fair? Because what about the backup right guard? We're responsible for him too. And, and if no one except a few on a few teams and, and with 600 athletes at UNC, if, if only three or five athletes make money, I don't know that it's a great rule for athletic departments. It's a, it's a great rule for a great player who's probably going to be in the NFL and make his money anyway. That's why I, I thought Jim probably had a point. If he's a great player and if he's good enough to get money up front, maybe he can go get a lot more money in the NFL uh, at the beginning. So uh, we're working with Bubba. Um, we're working within our own football program, but then Bubba's obviously got the vision for the in, entire department. 